Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, please. XCOM Enemy Within. If you didn't see the last episode, we have lost some more units. Hey Ruka, you wanna jump behind my monitor and eat my, uh... Eat my freaking uh, acoustic foam? I suggest you don't. This would be a great time for an easy... A small scout? I mean, that's not that bad. I was gonna say an easy alien abduction mission, but we already have a satellite over Japan, so I guess we can't get an alien abduction mission there. We'll send a Sky Ranger. Oh. Zhang is like good to go. So he's a heavy. I believe I have my heavies decked out. Cat. I can't risk a misclick here, my feline friend. Um, let me think about this for a sec. If we want to roll this the right way. First off, this guy's got to get specced. I believe I had. Um, I had heavies in yellow. Part, oh my god, what have I done? Rotate back around. Okay, I had him looking like this. Customize armor tint was like this one, maybe. I can live with that at least. Now, for abilities, he starts out as a lieutenant, which is really high. We're basically just going to replace our other um, unit, the, the unit that already died. So, bullet swarm, shredder rocket, and heat ammo. Yeah, second uh, plus 50% damage against robotic enemies. Really useful in the later game. Um, when we actually encounter robotic enemies, which, oh, man, I'd be really pissed off if I didn't take him, and then we fought some cyber discs uh, on this one. Um, I think we say no to supports. It Now, it did land, so there's probably going to be some fairly uh, heavy enemies in there, but I need a sniper. There's just, like, at this point, there's, like, no way around it. I'm going to need a sniper. Let's give our heavy, even though his aim is actually awesome, let's give him a scope as well. Um... And I think we're okay rolling with an assault and with the laser pistol, he's okay. We're gonna make items available and we're gonna give our rookies, what's your aim? 65, fairly standard. Actually, that might be like exactly what all rookies get. Yeah, okay. So we've got two units that don't need laser weapons except for a laser pistol, three grenades. Oh, it scares me, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> oh, begin assault. I've, I'm in this point right now where I'm like, every single mission that we're doing is like, do or die. If we fuck it up, we're done. Um, but because we're taking like a half awesome squad, half rookie squad, this has the potential to be a very high variance mission. We could be extremely pleased with the way that things go, or we could be extremely displeased. Um, if we get a sniper, or fucking god forbid, two snipers, I would, I would be over the moon. I'd be the happiest commander in the entire world, but um, if our rookies die or anybody dies, uh, and and you know maybe we have our sixth and seventh supports uh, coming to life here, I'm gonna be slightly more disappointed. What kind of aliens could we encounter here? Uh, because it's a small s that sound scares the shit out of me. Uh, because it's a small squad or small small scout, I should say. I expect. Not a huge amount of enemies. Right now we're just doing the, you know, my, my newfound strategy of uh, trying to push out on one side exclusively. To start with, just to minimize the risk to ourselves. Um, I expect sectoids. I don't know if they're going to be the bulk of the mission or if it's going to be thin men. But I expect sectoids. Um, I also expect floaters. And then maybe like one muton. Two mutons, maybe? And probably, you know, mix and match some thin men in there instead of sectoids and floaters. I think those are semi-realistic options for us. I hear footsteps. Okay, so we're gonna get behind um, this, this full cover up here. We can get a unit right here. Which is great. And we can get a unit right here, which is good. And you are our assault, so I'd prefer to keep you kind of, I don't want to say on the front lines, but like sort of up here. We don't know which direction necessarily the enemies are going to come from, so um, we'll put Zhang like here. Please don't pop a wave. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this has got to be the edge of the map, right? Yeah, the camera goes like super vertical. Okay. Overwatch, Overwatch. Laser pistol, Overwatch. Forgot to do that earlier. The laser pistol overwatch, and actually just the laser pistol on the assault combined with the shotgun was very, very useful on our last episode. 
We didn't have to get close to enemies. We could play a little bit more of a defensive game. Of course, I'd prefer to have him with a laser rifle, but, um, you know, we didn't really have that option. Scares me a little bit. Take the move. We don't see anything. That's actually a, a good move. I didn't realize that would be full cover. Rookie moves up, doesn't see anything. This should not give us vision of anything new. Which is very, very important. On the move. And we'll just continue moving up. And, you know, slow and steady, I wouldn't say it's necessarily won the race. But it's, it's done work for us. Aliens making some scary, you know, mouth noises right now. Most important thing by far, getting, well, first off, living. Secondly, getting these rookies actually leveled up. We, we will not be able to win this game without a sniper. I think that is not a controversial thing to say. So I've got to kind of like, as much as I would love to start getting lieutenants beyond uh, Zhang, I figure we've got to, you know, take our best possible effort here uh, to... to Commit to getting a sniper. We could use a scout as well. Or maybe the scout, now that I think about it. Was that like a unique class in Long War? Yeah, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree there. Man, Jang is so flipping slow here. That is not where you're supposed to be. <laughs> Alright, well that's fine. You can come here then. Everybody's just covering everybody else's butts. You can cover your own butts, but it's more fun if you got someone else covering yours, probably. So, let's make sure everybody's got a good position here. If we lose the meld, we lose the meld. We're not m building any mechs this month anyway. Ooh, I, I don't love that. There we go, first wave. Hmm, Seekers. I don't mind this, to be honest with you. So what we do is we go back to our shotgun. And we're going to get ready for uh, some Overwatch. I wouldn't say traps necessarily, but some Overwatch action here. Is this good enough? Is everybody going to be able to see everybody else on an Overwatch well enough to get a hit? Probably. I think probably we're okay. Now, the, the real danger with Seekers is that the first Seeker is going to draw out every single Overwatch. Wow. Uh, thank God for our Rookie, who actually saved the life of our Assault there. Maybe not the life, but saved the health of our Assault. So yeah, our second Seeker basically gets a free uh, attack. Unless we get insanely lucky. The problem is we he uh, the Seeker has a... Kind of a weak energy attack that may actually have one of our units flanked. Oh my god. That miss was insanely lucky. What would be awesome here is if our rookie got the kill. Every rookie that gets a kill levels up, I think. So, um, we're going to try to take these shots. They're not going to be good. Let me just quickly check and see. Zhang's got a 45. We've got a 40. And then with the laser pistol, we've got a 37. Jeez. Pretty bad. Um... Well, let's start with our unit that's behind full cover. Because she's going to stay there. That's not unexpected. Damn it, I also think Zhang is not going to move. So let's give him a chance. This is more about minimizing the damage to ourselves now. Take your last shot with your ammo there. 45%. Slick jukes, man. Okay. I'm going to get behind this half cover. And see how it affects our, our aiming chance. Thank you for not popping another wave. 56% chance to hit with the laser pistol. That takes us up to 49. Down to, I suppose I should say. Alright, well. Kanan can come over here then. See what your chance is. 26. Thank God. Take the shot. That's a miss. I really, really don't love this idea. I'll level with you. I kind of hate it. We could easily pop another pod. I gotta try though, man. I gotta like get over here. Even though it leaves us completely flanked. 
Thank you for not popping a pod. 72% chance any hits. Oh, the dream is alive. Good Christ, that was scary. He was so high up in the air. Okay, come back. Reload. Reload for sure. Uh, you don't need to reload, so you can actually set an Overwatch trap for a little bit of safety. Good, two enemies dead. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's uh, incredible, but it's a start. Here's what I'm thinking. Move up, and then we can at least move back if we trigger the wave. We didn't, and we can see the UFO. I'm all over. This is beautiful. So we can actually have all of our units move up. Rolling out. And if we can get a nice perimeter set up behind full cover here, I would love it. Even if it does seem a little dangerous right now. There's no way it's just going to be two Seekers. And then... Um, the outsider. That's that's just not enough. It's not enough enemies. I wonder how close we can get to the UFO before we trigger the outsider. Lost both meld canisters. Might seem bad. Honestly, I actually find it quite freeing. All right, good. This is where we want these units, more or less. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I needed to make some space for uh, for Zhang to move. Moving to position. Good. Okay. Half cover is no cover. Remember the golden rule. But you know, no enemies is no enemies as well. We also have all of our resources available. Two rockets from Zhang, as long as he doesn't die. Or I. Let's be honest. As long as I don't get him killed. Um. And then, I think four frag grenades, right? Good to go. Awesome. Okay. Gonna post up there, then. Double time. Should be able to get you guys behind these trees. And is this is this log half cover? One sec. That's half cover. So we, we don't want to commit fully to that, but... It's not necessarily horrible. Just taking it very, very slow for now. And it's worked out really well, but maybe it's worked out really well because we haven't seen, like, almost any enemies. Quite literally. <laughs> Which is, is really nice, honestly. Maybe there's no apocalypse after all. Okay, come up here. There's a meld canister. I mean, it's obviously already closed, but... Feeling like we just, you know, stay on the outskirts here. We got to breach that UFO eventually. But for now, we can just move slowly around the perimeter, keeping ourselves pretty flexible. I would really love uh, to get enough money to build the officer training school before the end of, or around the end of this month and the start of the next month. Because having five squad members with like three or four laser rifles would make this a lot easier. Wow, I am a little surprised we didn't catch uh, a wave there. Might be a little bit of a, a backwards move there, but anything that opens up more um, aggressive full cover for more of our units, I think, is positive. Okay, well, we have to decide at some point where we're going to enter from. And I think the answer is probably that big old door right there. Right in front of us. Do I have good positioning? Maybe you'd rather be like here. Okay. I'm gonna send my, uh, my assault up slowly. He's gonna open the door in a turn or two. And this should presumably um, trigger the outsider. Then we could maybe use a rocket or a grenade, blow up his cover and kill him. I mean, that's an ideal scenario. Rarely do things work out in the ideal uh, in XCOM. I'm a little frightened, what do you think? Pop it right now? How far back can my assault get? 
He can't get back far enough. Okay, just for now, just play it cool for one more turn. Because I really want my assault to be able to dash back to cover if necessary. Dash back to full cover, ideally. All right, here we go. Big moments. Four enemies. Uh, six enemies? Seven. Seven enemies? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's a little, little dangerous. Yeah, uh, thanks, Dr. Shed. That looks like the primary power source, in case you're curious. This pot is so dangerous. This pot is so dangerous. This pot is so dead. Pot. It's really got me stuck. It, seriously, though, like, it's it's pretty flippin' dangerous, this pod. Um, I don't think this will destroy the cover for this outsider here. So I almost feel like, ah, uh, you got no, oh, you got one shot on the outsider, but it sucks. What if you threw a grenade, like, right here? I saw it break the cover once. Give it a sec. Yeah, like, that's sweet. If you're, if you're only going to be doing that or an overwatch, this seems like a good throw. L blow up that dude's cover. You also blew up my assault's cover, which I should have seen coming, honestly. 55% chance to hit with the laser rifle. Gotta take that. Get the kill. You have squandered this for the last time. That's a load of bull. That's a load of bull. Um, yeah, you fucked us, basically. Good job. Um, okay, run and gun. These units are not on Overwatch yet. So we can run all the way back. Take our 30% chance to hit. Or, well, obviously we wouldn't use a shotgun. 66% chance to hit. Come on, don't let me down. Oh! My hero. Okay. LMG? You're not landing any shots, so you know what? You're on Overwatch duty. That was a really disappointing turn. That could have gone any number of better ways. Overwatch. This would be a killer Overwatch, man. Oh! Did you ever know that you're my hero? That might hurt. Half cover's not so bad. Oh, he took two moves. You should be poisoned as far as I'm concerned. Took two moves. Oh, he's immune. Okay. This is so good. It might not seem like it. But the fact that we are not completely fucked is so good. So, you know, I normally say... I think they're on Overwatch, right? I normally say, like, we do our safest moves first. What we're actually going to do is do our, like, lowest value moves first. A rookie can't do anything except move, throw a grenade, or shoot. So, their first turn is kind of an obvious one, I think. If you can't land a grenade, how are you telling me the? Oh no, he's he's just safe there. Maybe he he's not overwatched, is he? Now that I think about it, move up, move up, move up. The floaters might be, but I think you just throw this grenade. The meld canister survives, which is incredible to me. Um. Well, you know what? You, is there any flank ability here? There's a huge ability for us to get flanked. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We could easily rocket this thin man. So let's take the 45% chance at the floater. That's fine. And to be honest with you, not entirely unexpected, if we're being 100% honest. I think we... Well, let's take out the shotgun. See what the shotgun looks like here. 16% chance to hit. We also could just go for the kill here. He's got two shots at 45%. If he shoots once, he won't be able to land the rocket again. Or he won't be able to throw the rocket. So I kind of feel like the rocket is definitely the call here. If we can hit. No, we can hit. Yeah, let's just go for the rocket right off the bat. That one blew up the meld canister. Maybe the grenade would have. It just had, like, a visual bug or something. Um, keep your laser pistol out and overwatch. I believe that's all thin men dead. The outsiders, the outsider is dead. It's probably just these two floaters and one of them is going to get a kill on our rookie. 
Beautiful. Don't shoot your teammate. One panic is okay. Jang doesn't panic. He's seen some shit. 45% chance to hit this guy. Man, that's such bad luck on the... On that fucking uh, rookie kill. Good shot. One of our rookies is not fucking around. At least our panic dude hunkered. Jang, this is your shot, buddy. Oh, no! You killed my other rookie, you son of a bitch! Oh my lord. What a clusterfuck. Look, Zhang, I don't blame you, but it is your fault. 65. Finish the job that they couldn't. Oh, good. So now we get to choose between leaving our unit out here... Uh, for a, a pretty good chance that they'll get hit. Or going in for a, a pretty shitty chance that we'll get the hit. Um... What do you think? If we like run and gun out, I've, I've got to take the 56% chance to have no risk. Come on, laser pistol. Oh, my hero. There's more enemies! No! Don't do it. Please hammer, don't hurt him. Okay, well, as much as I've complained, if you're going to miss, I want you to miss like my high value uh, target. So, or my high value uh unit, so I'm not going to complain too hard. We can probably get in here with a shotgun. My first thought, though, is just make sure you get uh, Zhang out here. He's got a 65% chance, which is real good. And he's got the kill cam. Lovely. Everybody's dead. <laughs> we lost two rookies. Got zero meld. Uh, we continue to sort of tread water, which is very dangerous. Perhaps we can improve our equipment somehow, so this doesn't happen again. Okay, we have rapid fire and flush on our assault. Let me go check the XCOM wiki. XCOM wiki assault builds. Uh, I'm not thrilled with that, but I also feel like those floaters had just a little bit of kismet on their side, a little bit of fate. Flush versus rapid fire. Flush augments the effectiveness or the effectives of squad tactics, while rapid fire increases lethality. Flush hits for 50% with plus 30 aim. If combined with plus 20 aim from scope and light plasma rifle, it will overcome high cover and hit any target reliably. Flush is essentially a reusable grenade. It removes enemy cover, often forcing them to reseek low cover or exposed positions, allowing Overwatch squad to cut them down. Rapid fires two shots at 60% is always better than one shot at 75 Taking two shots will average net gain damage in most situations. If flanking foes within 10 tiles, the range bonus compensates for the ability's minus 15 aim penalty. To me, it seems like we probably want to go flush. And there's our rookies who got like an awesome amount of kills but died anyway. Okay, well, we got a nav computer. <laughs> We don't have anything damaged, so we don't really want to sell it. I think that's going to do it for today's episode. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.